You know, I was in a relationship for four years, got single recently, and I forgot stuff about sing being single. Like, I forgot about sexting. I totally forgot about that. Here's what I forgot about sexting. If you're sexting, remember to do it in a time and a location that's like vaguely sexual. <laughs> like midnight in your own bed. It's a good time to say. Otherwise, it's 1 p.m. I'm on a bus. <laughs> I'm sitting next to a priest. There's a child sneezing. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so horny right now. <laughs> I'm hard as a rock, baby. God bless you. <laughs> and you as well, sir. <laughs> Eat your ass. <laughs> I hate sexting, dude. I never know what to say. I guess you lie as a guy. You gotta lie. Because women are asking so much. I want you to fuck me for hours. And you have to be like, same. <laughs> I also desire that. And can deliver. <laughs> There's nothing hot about being honest. <laughs> There's nothing hot about being like, yeah, that's not gonna happen, and lower your expectations a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what kind of robots you're fucking. I have a human penis over here. <laughs> Who's fucking you for hours? I want names and addresses. I'm gonna go to them seeking wisdom like they're a Zen master. <laughs> I, hate I hate when they ask questions. I really, what are you gonna do to me? And I'm like, you don't wanna know. <laughs> I I'm not good at this. Why would I tell you? What's really about to happen? You, want, you know what you want? You want me to tell you what I want to do. That's what you, the aspirational, I'm gonna f fuck you so good. Are you gonna come? Send, that's it. <laughs> you don't mean to describe the actual events that are, I'm gonna come immediately and get angry at myself and ruin the entire vibe. I'm gonna yell at my dick in front of you. You're gonna kick me out of your apartment and I'm gonna walk home in the rain. <laughs> Do you want that? Does that sound like that? <laughs> Beg for it. <laughs> so I just lie to the extreme. I just go too confident with it. I'm gonna fuck you so well, it's not even fun. <laughs> it's just efficient and effective. <laughs> like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I'm, a, I'm gonna make you come to the point it becomes a genuine inconvenience. <laughs> You're gonna squirt until you're dehydrated and I'm gonna rush you to the ER and you're not gonna make it. You are about to die from squirting. You ever read your own sex back? Just, oh my God. Why the fuck? I always feel like a politician on the campaign trail. Why would I promise that? I can't deliver on any of this. Fix the economy, I can't even get hard. <laughs> I just don't like the way we date now. It's, it, it creeps me out. Like, like dating apps, they really creep me out. When I'm on a dating app, it scares me because there's so much information about these strangers you've never met before. The first time I logged on to Hinge, it was a picture of a woman, okay? It said Sarah, 26, Bushwick. That's where she lived. And it said, it said 5'7", Caucasian. I was like, is she missing? Why do I need all... <laughs> I felt like the next line's gonna be like, last scene heading west on 4th Street. If you have any information, she was wearing a gray hoodie. <laughs> By the way, that's not even a bad idea to, to, to put missing women on dating apps. Oh, hang on, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, who's more motivated than like horny guys? We, we might actually find some of these women. <laughs> not every woman should be missing. Every 10th woman, on the off chance, a guy sees it. You know, he's like, oh, she's cute. She shares my interests. She's missing. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> I'm on the case. <laughs> Walking outside with a boner. Sarah! Where are you? <laughs> Going up to girls in gray hoodies. What's your biggest turn on? Foot massage? <laughs> You're not Sarah. Hers is freedom. I like different things than most guys. I really do. Like, I, I prefer when the women I sleep with have slept with a lot of guys before me. I like that. Because I like to have good sex. <laughs> and for some reason, when, sex is like any activity. If you practice a lot, you get good. But guys forget that. They're like, Dude, I'd never date a woman with a high body count. No way. For me, that's the same as being like, Dude, I'd never go to a chef who cooks a lot. <laughs> No way. Ten meals or less in your whole life if you want to cook for me. <laughs> That's me. No, I go to chefs that cook hundreds of meals, all different ethnic cuisines. <laughs> they cook for a whole fraternity one time. <laughs> they know their way around a dish. I know it's dangerous, but you can't get a good carbonara without catching chlamydia once or twice. 
I don't think I'm out of line for saying that. Sometimes I sometimes I don't even like get home cooked. Sometimes I go to a restaurant. <laughs> I think if you want the best experience, you gotta provide a, you know, a professional. You gotta pay for, that's what I do. I, I go to restaurants and I, I watch the cooking channel sometimes. It's a website, Cooking Hub, look it up. I like that, that's what I like. I like, uh, I like dirty talk. I, I didn't realize I was like kinky. That's, I, I talked to my friend recently, I was like, yeah, I like to dirty talk. And he was like, oh, I don't do that. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you talk about then when you're fucking? Do you just do normal talk? That's way weirder. To just do... Wait, wait, she's, she's mad at you? What? Hold on, but, but she was the one who forgot the meeting. Why would that even be a... No, show me the text. Show me what she said to you. Like, literally, what did she say? What? She, baby, this woman's a bitch. Are you serious, baby? That's way weirder. And he was like, no, I don't even do during normal talk. I just don't talk at all. I was like, you gotta stop having sex with anyone. That shouldn't be allowed. What are you just breathing? <laughs> like fucking Darth Vader. <laughs> you come at the end. <laughs> How was that for you? <laughs> Did you finish? <laughs> I was dirty talking recently. It was funny because this never happened before. We interrupted one another as we were dirty talking. <laughs> So far, I was like, yeah, you, and she was like, can I, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I was, what, what did you say? I think I've, I've interrupted you. No, no, the floor is yours. She said the floor is yours. <laughs> well, it was so corporate board meeting. I was like, no, just to piggyback on what you were saying, I just wanted to <laughs> circle back to your butthole, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what to, she was like, no, no, seriously, say what you're gonna say. And uh, dirty talk out of context, it just sounds mean. I was like, no, I was just gonna say that you're a dirty whore, but now I feel like, <laughs> Now it feels wrong to say. No, no, it's good. I like it. Okay, yeah, I just thought of it. I thought it say it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's good. What, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say that yeah, I can feel you in my stomach or whatever. Oh, nice, thanks. I appreciate that. Is that true? No, it's dirty talk. Obviously not. You have a small penis. Why would I feel you? I'm kidding. I don't fuck much, to be honest. I really don't because, but it's not because I don't want to. I just have a, I have my penis doesn't work almost ever. I've got a really bad, which by the way, it's not even, that's not even that bad of a problem to have. Uh, no, it, it is. But <laughs> <laughs> it is, but the only thing is like, that what makes it so bad is the way women react when you can't get an erection because they're always nice. You know, no woman's mean. <laughs> Your lip dick fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, make it hard and fuck me, how about? <laughs> Why does it give when I flick it? <laughs> it shouldn't give like that. It should hold firm, dumbass. <laughs> They're never mean, right? They always say the same three words. They always go, it's totally okay. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want it to be. <laughs> I want you to be a little upset that we can't have sex now, you know? I went, no! No, no, no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> But instead, they're like, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Ideal, even. <laughs> I was actually hoping something like this might happen. <laughs> it turns out that prayer works. <laughs> you guys are a great audience. Thank y'all for coming out. I really appreciate it.